Hey guys! So today I'm going to be filming the 7 Deadly Sins of Beauty tag and I was tagged by a few people here on YouTube so I figured I would do it and it sounds like a really fun tag. I actually have no idea who started this tag. Like I have absolutely no idea and it seems like no one really knows who started the tag so that's kind of interesting oh and if you are wondering why I'm in like a different setting um, I'm still in my room I'm just facing my window because I've hated the lighting in my past few videos and I don't really know how to fix it so I just figured for this video I can film sitting in front of my window and it'll be way better lighting so that's just why I'm in this area okay so let's get started with the tag the first one has to do with the sin greed and the first question is what is your most inexpensive beauty item my most inexpensive beauty items are probably these elf anything from the elf dollar line because they're only a dollar I have these two quads and um, these were actually I've actually had these for a really long time uh, they're just they're just eyeshadow quads and the pigmentation of these is actually really good and then I have a bunch of these lip glosses and these are only a dollar as well these are kind of like duplicates of the Stila lip glazes so they have like the little brush and uh, yeah anyway the next question with greed is what is your most expensive beauty item and I think that that would have to be my NARS Danmari blush palette and this was $65 it was limited edition I bought it around the Sephora friends and family sale so I did save 20% on it but even then I still think it's my most expensive I'm not 100% sure but I think it is and this just has six NARS blushes and they're not full size but honestly they're like a perfect size like I'll never go through six full size oh hey guys it's just me so yeah this is definitely my most expensive beauty item next sin is wrath and the first question is what beauty products do you have a love-hate relationship with um I would have to say shampoo I don't know if you can really count that as a beauty product but I mean I do I don't know it's like a hygiene and beauty product I guess I don't know I'm gonna say shampoo just because obviously I like shampoo to cleanse my hair but I have a scalp condition it's like I don't really know exactly what it is it's like psoriasis or eczema I really don't know but I have not been able to find a shampoo that makes my scalp that gets rid of that problem or at least makes it better in my November favorites video I think it was my November favorites I talked about a shampoo by Giovanni and it was the tea tree triple treat and I still use that but I found that I cannot use that every single day because it dries out my hair and it's just not it's a really good clarifying shampoo but it's not good for everyday use so while I still do love and use that shampoo I can't use it every day like I thought I could so that's kind of annoying I just I just I don't know I never find shampoos that I absolutely love and if any of you have any scalp conditions like what I described, let me know what you use if you found something to cure it because I haven't been able to. So anyway, love-hate relationship is shampoo. Love it for cleaning my hair, hate it because it dries out my scalp. The second question for Wrath is what product has been the hardest to get? The Naked palette was pretty hard for me to get, but this was definitely the hardest for me to get and this is the Chanel Bronze Universal Soleil Tan Day Chanel, whatever. Um, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with this. It's just a cream bronzer and it comes in a packaging like that. This is really large. It comes with a lot of product, but I couldn't find this anywhere because when I bought it, again, it was like sold out and people weren't really sure if it was going to be discontinued or if they were reformulating it or like no one really knew the story. I went to Dillard's, I went to Nordstrom, I went anywhere that had Chanel and they were always sold out of it and then I came across a Dillard's where the lady was super super helpful and she actually tracked down like two of these in the country at different Dillard's in the country and got some store in Texas to ship this to my house and it was like this big ordeal um, but yeah like I paid her for it and then they shipped some store in Texas like shipped it to my house and yeah I've never had to deal with I've never had to do that with a beauty product before so this is definitely the hardest thing for me to get the third sin is gluttony and it is what are your most delicious beauty products okay I don't really understand this question because it's like I don't eat my beauty products normally I don't so I just picked the Revlon lip butters because they have like 
really delicious names. They're all named after desserts, and obviously dessert is delicious. Here is creme brulee. I have creme brulee, strawberry shortcake, red velvet, candy apple, and lollipop. Like this is all like candy and cake and delicious desserts. So I just picked these for my most delicious beauty products, even though they don't taste like what they're named after. But that's their name, so that's what I picked for that question. The fourth sin is sloth, and it is what beauty product do you neglect due to laziness? And I'm definitely going to have to say lip products. Sometimes I don't even put lip balm on my lips just because, I don't know, I just don't. And that's kind of ironic since the last products I talked about are all lip products, but I do wear lipsticks and lip gloss and whatever a lot, but, well, I wouldn't say a lot. But there are a lot of times that I don't put anything on my lips. I just like do, I'll do a full face of makeup and then just completely skip out on the lip products. I don't really know why that is. I think it's because I have longer hair and when I'm not wearing it up, I hate wearing lip gloss or lipstick, basically anything on my lips because, I mean, this is probably the case for anyone, whether you have long hair or not, but my hair is like always in my face and I cannot stand when my hair gets like on my lip gloss or in like my lipstick or whatever like that just completely grosses me out and then I'll have like streaks of lip gloss or lipstick like on my cheek or like I don't know I just hate it so more often than not I will skip out on any lip products I do wear lip balm before bed so I don't really have chapped lips or anything but sorry, I'm like playing with my hair. It's probably bugging you guys so bad. Number five is pride, and it is what beauty product gives you the most self-confidence? I was going to say foundation, but I don't always wear liquid foundation. Sometimes I'll just wear powder. So I'm not going to say foundation, though it does definitely boost my confidence because who doesn't like looking like they have perfect skin? But I'm going to say mascara just because without fail, no matter what, if I'm leaving the house, I will put on mascara because I naturally have blonde hair, so my eyebrows are blonde, my eyelashes are blonde, and when you have blonde eyelashes, you will understand. Like, it basically looks like you don't have any eyelashes, so I definitely, definitely need mascara to just, like, make, my, make me look more awake, and I just think that mascara just kind of is more, kind of makes you look more put together, like more polished, I guess. I don't know, but I'm going to say mascara for that. Number six is lust, and it is what attributes do you find most attractive in the opposite sex? Well, I'm going to say what everyone else has said doing this tag. Like, what the heck does this have to do with this beauty? Like, what? I don't understand. Physically, what attributes do I find most attractive in the opposite sex is height. Like, a tall guy, I just... I just love tall guys, like six feet and like up. Oh my gosh, don't even get me started. I will notice a guy's height before anything else. And also smile. If they have nice teeth, that's another like really, really, really attractive quality in a guy physically. So basically smile and being tall is like my, that's what I find most attractive physically. But that's not the most important thing to me. I know that a couple gurus I've done this tag said that they're like super shallow when it comes to guys and that really bothers me. I'm totally not. Like the personality is really what attracts me to them first. Honestly, like I have never gotten a crush on a guy that I didn't talk to or kind of know their personality because the personality is really what attracts me to them and the number one thing I find most attractive in a guy is a sense of humor. Like if you can make me laugh, that is the biggest turn on for me. I'm a really sarcastic and funny person in real life and I definitely need a guy that's just as funny and like shares my sarcastic sense of humor and can make me laugh. So yeah, and also like, okay, this is turning into like what Chelsea finds attractive in a guy video, but um, also besides a sense of humor, just guys that are sweet and chivalrous, which is really hard to find. Like if a guy holds a door open for a girl, like that's just unheard of nowadays pretty much. And that's really attractive to me too. Anyway, on to the rest of the beauty part of this tag. The last question is envy. What items would you most like to receive as a gift? I'm definitely going to say perfume just because perfume is a lot of money to just like shell out in one purchase so yeah i definitely like to receive perfume because i am like addicted to perfume and if you've seen my perfume collection video which was awful like so many people have commented it and said oh my gosh you really need to stop shaking the camera well excuse me that was like what like my fifth video please so that was the tag i'm going to tag a few people 
to do this tag but even if I didn't tag you still do it and if you've done this tag leave it as a video response because I really like watching this tag I think it's really interesting so yeah that was it for my video and I will see you guys in my next one bye